do you have a dog? That might seem a fairly straightforward question. Either yes, you do, or no, you don't. But here's a fun little follow-up question. Is your dog actually a dog? Now, look, I know what you're thinking. Nikolai, what a fucking stupid question. Of course my dog's a dog. What else would it be? (laughs) Buckle in, boys, because I have a story for you. Because apparently your dog can be a fucking human. That's right. People are now disguising themselves as dogs. Today, we're going to be looking into this story of a man who has spent, I kid you not, over 16 G's, 16 fucking thousand dollars, so much money on becoming a literal dog. Now, why is he doing this? Is it to avoid taxes? Is it to get some pets? Is it just to be a good boy? But we're going to get to the bottom of this today, and we're going to dive in deep and figure out the answers to all of these fucking questions. So here, we're going to meet Toko. Now, if you're just looking at this image, you might think, wow, what a cute canine. What a fantastic little pup. I sure can't wait to give that thing belly rubs. And you would be totally right to have those thoughts. But if you look a little deeper, some things just aren't totally right. I mean, just look at this. Here we got a clip of this dog scratching the glass. Now, I'm a full-grown man. I'm 20 years old. But this looks like something straight out of my childhood nightmares, okay? It's giving me flashbacks to when I was a little boy and I would wet the bed because my dreams were shit like this. Because like I've alluded to throughout this video, Toko is not a dog. Toko is a man who dresses as a dog. And how does he do this? Well, he has a $14,000 dog costume. That's how. Now, I wanted to start this video by breaking down who Toko was before he put on the dog costume, but it's actually really hard to find any sort of footage, videos, or any real information on who this guy is. All we know is that Toko has always wanted to be an animal, and they're finally realizing their dreams. And honestly, what's the issue with that? Really, cool, whatever. You do your thing, I have no problems, right? Like, this is the whole thing with, like, furries and people like that. These people have these things they want to do, and if it doesn't bother me, if it's not destroying a hotel like furries have done in the past, then why should I give a fuck? Why should I? I, There's no reason for me. I have way better things to do, such as avoiding paying taxes and committing crimes. But it is fun to ponder on certain questions. For example, how does Toko chill inside of the dog costume? So here, a creator, Ruiz, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, came up with this fun little depiction on how they think Toko might sit in the costume, which, uh, I don't know about you guys, I have a fairly okay body, like my back, you know, I I play a lot of video games, so like it's not in the greatest condition, I'm not gonna lie, but this looks like it would fucking kill me. I honestly would rather have my back snapped by a WWE wrestler than have to do this for like 12 hours a day. Because I feel like this would have more long-term results. You know, after the WWE wrestler, I can kind of go to the hospital, chill, have an ice pack, you know, drink a Kool-Aid, and you know, I'd be okay. But this, this looks terrible. And here we have another fun photo. This is someone walking Toko, which again brings up the other question. Does Toko take care of themselves or does someone else have to? Does Toko shit themselves? I'm going to be straight up. I'll be honest. I'm I'm curious. Does that dog shit in the costume or does it shit outside on the floor where someone else then treats you like a dog and has to pick up your shit? The main difference between Toko and a furry is a furry is a temporary state. It is a temporary thing you do, right? I'm actually meeting a lot of TikToks of what furries do during their day. And it's literally just clips of them like at the office or going to give a conference. And then the next thing you know, they're at a furry convention, right? Like that's just where they just transport there. That's where they go. And that's okay. That's fine. But Toko is always on. Toko is always in the costume, at least when they make their public appearances, or at least that's what they want you to think. And so then you get photos like this of someone walking you. And then you're becoming someone else's inconvenience. There's a popular question that girlfriends or or boyfriends like to ask their significant other. And it's, would you love me if? And it's like frequently a a dumb question, like, would you love me if I was a lizard or a stick or a pile of fucking rabbit poop, okay? And obviously you're supposed to answer yes. Of course I would love you. I wouldn't just immediately throw you in the trash like you would do with, you know, a normal turd. But like, let's be honest, if if your significant other became a stick and, and they chose to become this stick, you would get annoyed after a while because they chose to inconvenience you relationships they're kind of give and they're take and when you become a dog 
Okay. When someone has to walk you and clean up your poop and you're not going to do anything to help them, that is attention seeking. Like just imagine if this person had a significant other. I don't know if they do. I didn't do that much research into this video, but imagine if they did. Okay. So you're walking your dog, you're cleaning up their poo, you're, you're feeding them their food, you're feeding them their water. And then all of a sudden you get hit with a massive medical expense, right? Terrible sucks. What are you going to do about it? Well, in a normal relationship, you'd go to your significant other and you'd be like, Hey, we got this expense. We're going to work through it. You know, we're going to save money for a while, but this, per <laughs> but this person, they go to their dog. They say, who's a good boy. The dog rolls over. And then, you know, inside they're like, oh man, that medical bill, that sucks. But Hey, I'm a dog now. What you going to do about it? Like it just, it just sucks for you. Now here we actually have a video for the YouTube channel. I want to be an animal, very straightforward, very across, straight up across the point. And this is actually, this is Toko's YouTube channel. I don't know how the dog edited the video. My, my name is Toko and I want to be an animal. And I became an, a collie. Uh, apparently the dog can talk and write. Yeah, let's watch this video for a bit. And I'm going to make a fun little bet here. If at any point during this video, Toko barks, I will take a shot of toothpaste. Okay. That is, that is the bet. It is sealed. It is, it is on the table. I've not seen this video yet. I've not watched this video. I just found it, so let's see. Start. We'll start from the beginning. They're ready for their walk. Does, does that count? That might have been editing. Well, let's get a rewind. Let's get a rewind. <laughs> oh, oh no. Well, boys, I'm a man of my word. I'm not going to back down, even though that was. Probably just an edited bark. I'm not gonna be like a shot glass, but like it's a uh, this is, you know this is the amount you use to brush your teeth. And to give you a little reading from the the cap or from the toothpaste, if more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact Poison Center right away. So this is for you guys, okay? Eh. I, I kind of swallowed it. That's nasty, bro. Oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> I, I should not have taken that bet. Oh, anyway, let's keep watching. <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. It's kind of cute, though. Like, I'm not gonna, it's a little cute. It, it's a little cute, right? Like, if this was just a weekend thing and not like a life ambition, I, I'd actually be totally down with this. I think this is more cool than, a, than being a furry. Although it does look like it hurts your back. Yo. That arch though. <laughs> like, holy shit. They, they have it fucking down, boys. Holy fuck. I did not think that... Okay, we just need to keep watching. <laughs> God damn. Woo. Okay. Oh, see the belly, the belly rubs. Yeah. Give your new pet a head start <laughs> to a lifetime of health oh. with Purina. Puppy oh, food. this is the perfect ad. So here we have uh, Doko being taken on a walk. They're not very fucking good at it. <laughs> to be fair, most dogs, they're probably seeing, they probably see a squirrel. You know what I mean? Like they're probably just distracted by a squirrel or like a cat or something. They didn't pee on this person's car. Whenever I take my dog for a walk, I have to warn the entire neighborhood that their mailbox will be peed on. Doesn't matter if he did it like yesterday, he'll do it again. Like he just marks his territory everywhere. Now I'll be real with y'all. I think everyone at one point or another in their life and if you, if you say you haven't, I think you're lying. I think everyone at one point or another has thought to themselves, it would be nice to be like a dog or to be a cat, especially a cat, man. Like literally all they do is lay around during the day, sit in the sun and eat treats, right? It's, it's such a good gig. Like, yeah, it probably gets boring every once in a while, but like, you don't have to worry about taxes. You don't have to worry about like hurricane. Actually, I guess you do have to worry about hurricanes. It's not like cats. Well, they have nine lives. So, you know, never mind. Now here's their Twitter page, okay? And 
Again, I don't know how a dog runs a Twitter, but we'll assume it's run by someone else. And I can't read any of this. Uh, you'll notice instantly that their banner is a Jolteon, and their at is Toko Eevee. I think it's fairly safe to say they're a pretty big Pokemon fan. But hey, if someone you know likes Pokemon, uh, this could be them in the future. But like, you know, I will never surely have to worry about this. Oh man, I'm fucked. I am straight up screwed. Now, I was kind of curious, you know, we saw the form that this person's taking while sitting in the dog, like their posture and everything. How agile are they actually like can they actually do dog stuff in that costume or is it more of just like the appearance well thankfully <laughs> we have the answer we have the fucking answer i tried agility in realistic dog costumes this is gonna be the last video in a watch let's just see let's see how agile they are okay they're going up all right it it's uh it's <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My girlfriend has a 15, 16 year old dog. Okay. His name is Snowball. Bless his little soul. Dude can't see, can't hear, can barely breathe at this point, right? I kid you not. He can walk three times minimum, three times minimum as fast as this guy okay three times now sure he shits himself sure he runs into the wall sure he has schizophrenia and late at night he will bark at the wall until you come and you feed him his meds and he falls asleep yes he has these downsides but he's also a 16 year old dog i don't think you could do this slower okay i think a snail would genuinely have a faster pace and here we have an actual dog for comparison I would love to know what's going on in that dog's head right now. Like, does it actually perceive this as a dog? I feel like it doesn't because smell, right? Dogs are smart smellers. Here we got a wall. Oh, it's mouth moves. I didn't even real. I guess that makes sense. Come on, let's see it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, we got the classic rollover. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's probably dogs out there that are exactly like this, where they like, you put them up to any athletic ability and all they do is just roll over. That's my dog to an extent. Anyways, I realized I forgot to record an outro for this video, but yeah, all this didn't make you afraid that your dog might be a human. I know personally, I'm a little afraid of my dog now. So uh, if this is my last upload, you know what happened. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and peace out.